your character is kind of a, a woman in a boys club, right? <laughs> so how, how did you work her out for, for camera? Um, you know, it's interesting because uh, that's true in a lot of, uh, on a lot of film sets in general. Um, and so I, I guess you have a certain awareness of it and there's nothing you can really actively do to portray that because just your presence is kind of the, the visual that, that shows that. But um, yeah, it was important to me to just represent this character in an honest way. And I like the idea that she's really sort of a self-made person. You know, she's worked very hard to sort of, you know, kind of leave her past behind and find herself in this position as an analyst at the Treasury Department. So she's obviously very intelligent. Um, she has good instincts. And, you know, over the course of the film, we eventually see, you know, we see what happens to her when she's sort of tasked with this mystery of figuring out who the accountant is. Christian Wolf. Really? Christian Wolf last year ran $75,543 through his accounting well, firm. Who is Christian Wolf? The accountant. Well. He's playing with us. He can't clean that kind of money through an accounting firm. The paper trail's too heavy, so he's laundering it through cash businesses. All of those are in the same strip mall south of Chicago. Z, Z, Z. I mean, he doesn't care about the traffic. It's a front. All of it. Christian Wolf, Carl Gauss, Lou Lewis Carroll. He's using the names of famous mathematicians as a cover. So you're telling me this guy risks his life doing forensic accounting for some of the scariest people on the planet, collects his fee, goes to all the trouble of laundering it, and then gives almost all of it away? Well, what if he's taking other means of payment? Yeah, possible, yeah. I got him, Ray. Maybe. Pack a bag, we're going to Chicago. She's kind of a mystery woman herself, too, and she has, she has an eye for things. Uh, is that anything like you in life? Do you see things differently? I, mean, I know you're an actress, you're an artist, so do you, do you look at things differently, you think? I probably do. I mean, I think part of my... Part of both my job and just something I enjoy in general is just being an observer of people and, mm. and life and situations. You know, I love to travel. I love to kind of go and sit somewhere and just people watch and listen to conversations. And you really learn a lot about the world and people. And, you know, then your job is to sort of interpret that and, and portray that. And so I feel like that does inform a lot of my work and I try to put that into characters that you know I play so yeah you know it's like it's again it's hard to sort of play mysterious you know you don't just sort of act in a mysterious way but this is a person with a full inner life and a lot going on in her head and and so you should sort of hope that that actually translates on the screen. Does she have skills that you wish you had or do you have like any like uh nice cool skills we don't know about? <laughs> um, well, I don't know if, you know, in this moment I could say work at the Treasury Department, <laughs> so I don't know if I have that skill set. But again, I, I appreciate the fact that she is somebody who is intelligent and has essentially worked her way up to this position. And I think that, you know, when we're first meeting her, you know, she gets called into the office by her superior, Ray King, who is played by J.K. Simmons, and, you know, he could have called any analyst. There are hundreds of analysts at the Treasury Department, but there's a reason why he picks her specifically. He sees something in her. He sees a quality in her. And I think that's a really important thing to, to note. And he probably sees more than she even sees within herself. And over the course of the film, it's, you know, I think great for the audience to kind of watch her discover her own abilities and... and sort of, you know, grow in confidence in terms of being able to get closer to, you know, solving this this mystery. What is, uh, you know, most of your scenes are with J.K. Simmons. What's acting with him like? What do you need to bring? You've got to bring everything. <laughs> You've got to bring it all. I mean, yeah, yeah it's, it's one of those things where if you're working with somebody who's at a really sort of high level in their skills, you know, it, it does sort of help you to grow and, and rise to the challenge. And, um, you know, at the same time, I didn't want to get too caught up in being intimidated by this actor who, you know, has all these awards. And, and, and really, he was just a down-to-earth guy and, and just really sort of 
open and and just ready to work. And so it was exciting to get to just try things and and have a sense of play and and really try to figure out the dynamic between these two characters and how it changes over time. Excellent. Totally enjoyed watching on the screen. <laughs> Thank you Very so nice much. Nice to meet you too.